Hey, I'm Anna, and fractional inequalities come up every two to three years. Let's nail them. This question comes up in your exam. What are you going to do? What's really important to note here is we have an inequality sign. So the one thing we have to always remember about inequality signs is that if we have a negative and we divide by a negative, it's going to turn around, which is a bit of an issue. We don't know what x is here, so it could be positive or it could be negative. Right. We just have to make sure that it stays positive so that this guy doesn't go moving around. Right. How do we do that? Any number, any number at all, square it and it will be positive. So it'll be greater than zero, it'll be positive, our inequality won't be affected. So what are we going to do here? What's the trick? We're going to square this x plus 2 under the line and multiply both sides by that. Let's have a look at that. So we're going to have 2x minus 3 all over x plus 2 this side multiplied by x plus 2 and square that because remember we need to keep it positive right our inequality sign is going to stay the same we're happy with that then we're going to multiply 3 multiplied by our x plus 2 squared again because remember we want this inequality sign to stay happy and that's it that's the trick <laughs>